My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. We are recording a little earlier than usual because we will be in Denver for the All-Star break as you are watching this. This comes out on Monday. On Monday, we'll be playing blitzball against professional blitzball players and catching home runs at the Home Run Derby. Jake, how are you? Try hitting a baseball, you blitzball idiots. No chance. Going to break your goddamn bat. I'm doing well, Jim. Didn't sleep full think last night, and I feel like somebody's starting to lose it. You? Okay, cool. Rest up before we go to Denver. Uh, I got something to tell Not you about. doing that. And I don't know if you're going to be interested in it. I can't look. One minute on the clock starting now. The Madison Mallards mascot got decapitated. Someone stole the head right off the body and ran away with it. Madison Mallards mascot. They posted that they're offering a $500 reward to anyone who can find it, but the reward will be paid out in hot dogs, which I think means you're not taking it seriously and no one's yeah. going to return it. Why would someone want 500 hot dogs? That sounds like hell. This has smelled like inside job from the start. Uh, their problem solving slash because it was an inside job is actually pretty awesome. They're just rotating mascot heads. Changing which, the head up. That should just be a team. That should be the mascots. Yes. And it's just, oh, who do we got today? Like that's part of the draw. That's like I had a hermit crab once and we put it in a hermit crab race and the name of our hermit crab was you couldn't call it the same thing twice. So we were playing against all these little kids. Come on, Frank, here we go, George, let's go. Jo-. And they were like, how many hermit crabs do these kids have? And it was just Story one. Story ends so sad. Oh, uh, we set him free after he lost. That's time. <laughs> Jim, something I could see becoming a theme of our Colorado trip. Animal rescues. There's so many in the news. We have like 20 people going, so we're probably going to save some animals. Zach, how much time do we have on the clock? Minute 45. Minute 45. Okay, the first animal that got rescued was a deer that went into a Walmart, and a Walmart employee saved the deer from being inside the Walmart. Which is something I wish would happen to me every time I accidentally go into Walmart. The employee has such a good mount. It's such a professional mount. Um, mount. Mount. Uh, like, when you see that, that's a person in control of a situation. Whether you see that in a wrestling ring, whether you see that in a Walmart humping a deer, whether it's... You see that on the street and you're like, oh, okay, they've she's got, got it. it. What ha- what this comes down to is I'll that she, she's wrestled a deer before and uh, happy that it came into effect here. A helicopter saved a horse that was trapped in concrete debris. The horse fled from its rider and got trapped in concrete, so that rider better be sad. Helicopter hoist horse. What kind of alliteration are we running? So, today? you know, they say, they say horses know their rider like very well. That guy just got outed by the horse as being an awful person. Oh, the horse hates the rider. Always has. The rider tries to be an alpha, and Sometimes it's like, I'm a horse. My one, of my one of the best tweets on Twitter, it's from like two decades ago, is when the guy, yeah, the guy just says like, it's like in quotes, huh? The first horse to ever be ridden. <laughs> what? Top Twitter tweets. This that is what I do episode. now? And then Jim, the anchor, as it always is, uh, Montana Lake visitors rescue skunk with his head stuck in a pickle jar. Uh, I think you're kind of on its dreams and aspirations. You know I struggle with some of the animal stuff. So it, it's an awesome video, but it's sad. Well, I want. I think the skunk just wants to be an astronaut really yeah. bad. Time. Fuck Zach's timer. You know we got shit every- about shit. <laughs> we got everything we needed to say in there. That was perfect timing. Next up, we're going to move on to not sports. Zach's going to give us a minute and 15 seconds on this one. Yes. Minute and 15 seconds on the clock. A professor sent an email to his students explaining. Say it. Okay, you say it. Minute and 15 on the clock Reset starting now. Reset the timer. Reset it. Uh, now, okay. and it's a minute 20. Yay! Wow, extra five seconds. Extra five seconds. But I just blew the five seconds. I lost my page. Oh. We'll flip them when you're done with one. No, because what if we have to go back and talk about the horse? Zach, do you hear about this one? I haven't. Just do it an old time TV show. Host. Minute 20 on the clock. Professor sends email to his students explaining why the class is postponed. A college student was proposed a decent birthday on Twitter recently. Sent an email or class professors and he said, I "Guess my best wish. I was shot and been treated in the ER. I guess I have COVID and my divorce is getting messy. Oh, been there, man. So he got shot. Uh, he's being treated in the ER. Also has COVID and the divorce is getting messy. Kind of went viral. We found the rate my professor 
uh, for this professor, and mm. someone had rated him and said, amazing professor. However, he do be going through it, though. Mm. Been well, there. That's true. I once had a, I once had a uh, history of China test canceled because my professor's daughter shot herself in the eye accidentally with a nail gun. Ah! Okay, I was going to use my story, which was a little more fun. I, two professors at our school, same school, they were dating in love. They got divorced, and uh, they had a house, like, right off campus, and I guess it was, like, known in a thing. He lost the house, so whenever he taught classes, he would stay at the La Quinta Inn, and he, he had this big Boston accent, and he'd say, oh, I'm staying at the beautiful La Quinta Inn, and we're dumb college kids, so we're like, okay, is that good? And he's like, so one day we actually asked, and we're like, so is it a nice La Quinta Inn? Like, oh, it's a fucking dump. Yeah. So not an ad for the La Quinta. The I same La Quinta you went to. Yeah, where I got invited to a sex party from some teenagers when I was delivering pizza. Segway. Into next topic. That's minute, called the biz. Minute 15 on the clock. Furious locals cite COVID-19 concerns. I, can we start over? I don't even like the line of that story. Done. Start the, over. The, Reset the, the clock. Reset, Reset the, clock. the clock. Real headline here is uh, complaints of screaming and moaning from the Swingers Festival in Lincolnshire. Around 400 swingers arrived for a four-day sex festival called Swingathon, and they told everyone it was canceled because of COVID, and then they were like, they just did it anyway, hmm. which, I mean, if... If a swingathon festival tells you, yeah, we're actually canceling it due to safety concerns, you'd be like, what are you talking Do about? Do you know how quickly the email thread started with the people that they wanted to go? This was just to get rid of the riffraff. Oh, how many swings yes. do you think are there? How many swings? Yes. Actual swings? Not sex swings. Zero. You don't think there's a playground anywhere? <laughs> Any swing is a sex swing, Jim. Jim, this gets me a little hot and bothered in multiple reasons. Um, a, I hate people that try to get involved in the lifestyle that aren't a part of it. Um, I mean, it's a Have choice. you ever been to a sex festival? Because I think that, I mean, don't call out the swingathon people. You're calling out the people that are complaining. Yes. What if the noise is loud? <laughs> Hell yeah. That means it's working. Uh. <laughs> That's time. Which brings us to... It's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's, it's the employee, employee of the week. week. It's, it's a guy who sings song that we group. like. It's the employee. Uh, we thought about giving it to BBD because we're actually recording on his birthday. He lost out. We thought about giving it to Key Brian Hayes, Trevor Blue's weed plant. So Cali, bro. But we are giving it to Iman. Not only fantastic artist. Yeah. One of the earliest followers Fans of ours of Talking Yanks, Iman. And we just listened to his song to get pumped up for the show. Fuck, what you say, you're me fuck you, you beep. I, don't uh, want I beeped you out back. ho and not fuck. <laughs> I think you'd have to beep both of them. <laughs> beep you, you beep. I don't want you back. It's a really, it's an all time song. And the YouTube comment that made me laugh before this was someone in quarantine. The top comment was like, hey, 2020, listen to this in quarantine. Damn. <laughs> big Ebon. Emotional. Big Ebon's a big Talking Yanks fan. We're Iman. big Ebon fans. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. Watch this, Zach. That was the Weekly Dumb! This Weekly Dumb was brought to you by the John Boy Media Store. Buy a shirt, you hacks. <laughs> I had a visual in my head. Glad the time ran out so I couldn't say this during the time. I had a visual of, like, they are inspecting the noise and the loudest room is just, like, the solo room. It's just, like, everyone Ooh. all... Or, like, the whole outdoor ring of the room is just all solo acts just screaming. In like, my what? experience, you set up a fake loud room so when the... If the pigs come, they <laughs> check out Jake. that room. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> an end scene. <laughs> I don't know. Actual pigs. Oh. What were you? Jimmy. I had pigs dressed like cops. Respect our enforcement. 